Now, your KSBW weather forecast with meteorologist Gina DeVecchio. Good evening, everyone. It was a nice day. We did start out with some sunshine, clear sky early. That allowed temperatures to drop off to the freezing point for Scotts Valley, Boulder Creek. And then we were sitting above that near the coast in the 30s. Chilly, though, but now with that cloud cover, we're going to start to see warmer temperatures overnight, but cool tomorrow afternoon. This afternoon, we got up to the 50s up in the mountains and hills, near 60 for most of our coastal areas, and then 66 in Carmel Valley. Inland a little farther, mid-60s as well, pushing 70 degrees in King City, but not quite there. 60s all across your map for this afternoon. Look at that though, a little chillier in Gilroy at 30 degrees. That's nothing compared to how it's going to get after this system comes through though. I think we're going to start to see some 20s on your map, especially inland. For today, high temperatures, some low 50s stretching to the low 70s towards the south, right in between there in the 60 degree range for the central coast, but changes are on the way. You can see that sunshine getting replaced by cloud cover. Of course, now the sun has gone down and by the time it comes back tomorrow, looks like we could receive some rain Rainfall, some much needed rainfall. All of California needs it and looks like Northern California into perhaps the Sierra could get some of this significant rainfall. However, we're on the southern end of it, so it looks like maybe just some light showers, hoping it holds together a little, brings some moisture and brings us some of that rainfall. Here you can see the big system. There's the front cooler air behind it. Low pressure system spinning above Washington State. Extended cold front that's going to come through, shift our winds and then bring in the cooler temperature and hopefully the potential for some rainfall across the area. You can see lots more moisture though over land and with the center of this system. So looking at our future cast, you can see that system dipping down a bit. Here's that rainfall, especially in our northern and eastern parts of our state. We're going to be on the south and west end of that hoping that rain holds together before high pressure builds in. So you notice how quick this system is. It is going to move in quickly overnight tonight and then move out of here and be replaced by this high pressure system. It's going to return those temperatures and the sunshine to what we've been seeing. A little cooler though to start and by the weekend. That's when we're going to start to see those temperatures rebound once again. Now we are going to start to see the high pressure weakening just a bit as we go into this weekend. Another system potentially coming in for your Christmas holiday. We'll show you that on your eight day forecast, but the focus right now the cool temperatures. Look at this. We've been sitting in the yellow and green showing those kind of mild temperatures, but now the cool down comes here. You can see it by tomorrow. The blue showing cooler temperatures aloft and we're going to feel that at the surface as well. Of course, at the coast, not as big of a difference as inland and up in the Sierra. They're going to deal with some chilly temperatures even potential for some winter like weather temperatures though quickly are going to rebound and there you can see that cold air getting replaced by warm air as we go into Thursday Thursday afternoon you'll start to feel the temperatures warm up again and we are going to be seeing cool overnights though here's that winter weather advisory up in the highest elevations that's through this evening for the potential of snowfall with this system you can see the front coming through it is going to be a little gusty and blustery behind this system so temperatures dropping off a little bit winds picking up a little bit tomorrow and you're going to feel that. Here's your microcast showing that rainfall come through. You can time it out for yourself, really looking like it's going to be in the overnight and most of that precip, the yellow showing heavier off towards the east. But we do have a decent chance of picking up a quick 10th, maybe 20th of an inch. But overall, we are going to be seeing lesser amounts, especially at the lower elevations. Could see some decent rainfall in some of the mountains. So keep that in mind for your morning commute. Here's the timing of it. There you can see about a 10th of an inch, some areas a little bit higher and keep an eye if you are driving any of those roadways that if they do get a little wet could be a little dangerous tomorrow morning. Tonight temperatures dropping off into the 40s. It is going to be breezy at times. Those winds shift tomorrow. You're going to feel the blustery conditions as I mentioned. Temperatures starting off in the 40s finishing in the 50s. So not much of a spread from those lows to the highs and we're going to see just how much sunshine we get starting off with some clouds. Sunshine should come out in the afternoon, but if you're in the sun, it could feel nice, but that wind is going to feel little uncomfortable, so keep a coat with you throughout the entire day, maybe even a raincoat and umbrella earlier in the day. Temps starting off near 40. I don't think we see freezing for today or tomorrow, but we are going to start to see cooler temperatures coming your way. As for those highs there, you can see ranging 50s, 60s. You know what? Finally, we don't have 70s on your eight day forecast. I know a lot of you have been waiting to get rid of those. We are going to be seeing just more 
seasonable temperatures for now and then cooler temperatures. Look at that dipping down well below freezing. So some of our inland areas are going to have to deal with some freezing frosty conditions. And then there you see another cool down by Christmas and into next week. It's going to feel go. a little bit like winter. It is, finally. <laughs> yeah. It's about time. It's about time. Yeah, a little moisture would be nice. <laughs> yes. We'll